But here's also where you can get your you, you can't catch the fish yet. Ah. Uh, yeah. You know, until the second boat. I always get scared, uh, paranoid when I see like big oceans like this, because I keep thinking of random sharks that's gonna come and eat me. Or like in uh, like Jack and Dax or something. I I remember specifically playing this game for the first time, asking Joey, "Yo, can you get eaten by a shark in Kingdom Hearts?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we can fly a couple characters here. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Yeah, it's a good chance for you to get. Oh yeah, actually, I want to point out something. You had the shield early on. If you pause for a moment. Yeah. Yeah. Now... Oh, yeah you have the sword. You have the wooden sword. Yep. Why well, is a dream sequence also a rope? This is Titus. Hey, yep. You feel lucky today? You. No, we're gonna fight all of them. Yep. So, so then we're gonna get the little, get little special fight. All right. Now let's... a good way to fight Titus is to keep your lock on him and then just and then just swing at him. You'll get tech points every time you counter him. Right. I he's, easiest to, he's, he's the easiest to grind off of. I so, am no, failing. Like, what you want to do is run. You want to do is run until he's chasing straight after you. Right. And then and then just oh. swing, swing at, hit him once. Run. Now run. When he's now run towards him, swing. Oh, I see. I see. You just want to keep doing that. Like swing. Sorry. Like tech. Run. Tech. Run. Okay. Simple enough. But when he when he healing. Well, I don't. I usually don't kill him because I try to grind off him. Ah uh, well. But whatever. Um, well, you can do it as many times as you want. Right. Yeah, you can keep fighting uh, Titus and all that, and, and the, all three of these guys as much as you want. Mm. And if you lose to them, you just it doesn't matter. No, you can keep refighting it. Yeah. Hey, hey what's happening, man? What's happening, man? <laughs> I always remember that. Now, 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 this is Waka. Yeah, you need to time when you, uh, he throws the ball. Then hit it back. Yeah, if you can hit him back, it stuns him. Like that. There's and a, you also get more attack points if you, if you counter his super ball attack. And remember what? I, and, goes like, like, <laughs> and remember what uh, we were talking about in Birth by Sleep, where the last hit wasn't very effective in that game. This. Yeah, very. Like, they're they're suffering total knockback. Yeah, they look out. Okay, I'm gonna try letting him go, move a little bit. That's good well, enough. Like, let's see. If, he might do the super ball. There. Oh, I missed. That's hard to counter. That's really hard to counter, but that. Mm. But I also, it's easy. I think it's it's more worth grinding off Titus too because he gets two tech points for tech. Yeah, I I didn't get it, but like the final hit makes him go flying. Yeah, he actually suffers knockback. Yep. Um, now, now the har arguably the hardest of the three by themselves, I think, is Selkie here. I don't. Because well, she well, it only depends if she doesn't want to attack frequently. I honestly have more trouble with uh Wacker. Now for Selkie, she uses a jump rope, which is kind of like her flail in Final Fantasy VIII. Mm. She has two, in her you can counter her jumping attack, which is like that. That'll tech point, if you tech that, she'll get caught around it. It'll hit her in the head. Yeah. When, when, when it, the, now, her tornado attack is the hardest, is, the, is her probably her, hard, her hardest hitting. Right. But I think she has the least health. I don't want to, I don't really want to use potions and all that now. Yeah, don't use potions on these guys if you lose, if, it's fine. Yeah, yeah it it's... doesn't go on your, it doesn't, it doesn't count towards your death receiver. So if mm. you're going for that no death achievement trophy. Oh, okay, that's good. Let's go. Yeah, see, like, even there, she suffered a bit of knockback. That was kind of bad, but. Whatever. Now, um, once you beat off three of them, if you head back up to Titus. Yep. You can do another fight. With all, you can do a fight with all three of them at once, which gets really hard to manage. Yeah, I understand. But if you can beat them, you get a potion. Yeah, I, I, I keep I, finding them for potions. I want to see how I do with this because, yeah, I got pretty trashed on my first run. A good idea would be to focus on Waka first. Yeah, especially because, because uh, he, he range. range attacks, and, and when you're focusing on the other two, it's easy to forget him off screen. Okay. Selkie really distracted you there. I was trying to figure out how to change lock on targets. I forget how to actually. Isn't it's L2 and R2? It's uh, L, L2. Alright, right, let's go. Yeah, re re yeah, Titus and, and uh, Selkie are probably gonna pot shot you every now and then while you're going after Waka here. Mm. But better get rid of him right now. I am not doing well. You're not going to, believe me. I died of this. I died of this. I, it's, it's understandable if you can die to these guys, for, especially after it's been a while. 
Because especially sulky and her stupid <laughs> oh. you yeah. see You see why I want Dotro. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you can, I, I still suggest um grinding on using Tidus. Mm. Like the one-on-one for a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Just a moment. We're, we're just going to do it until EC levels up once or twice. Yeah. Remember, just hit him and just run, hit, run. If, oh, yeah, if he does that cartwheel attack, it's not going to eat. You can't eat. You'll just be reflected off it. Yeah. Like, just hit it. Like, with tech, just tech, tech, run. There's, oh, yeah. You, do this until you get one more level up, because I think that's where you get one of my favorite new abilities added to the final mix. How, how, what level do we need to be to get Dotro? I don't remember, but we'll, we'll get it naturally. Right. Because right. I kind of want to get that before we fight Thingy in Travis Town. Oh, uh, oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. He, he hits pretty hard this early. Honestly. I died. I died to him too my first time. And there are some bosses that where if you die, the game doesn't restart. It just continues. So, and that, but, but that, you want the reward. You, yeah, you lose a lot of experience because of that happening. Yeah, uh, there, there's only a few of them. Uh, you're, you should be almost there. See, like, you're getting a lot of tech points just from doing this. Yeah. <laughs> and, because, you know, he's constantly following to you, too, and the timing is pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing exactly as I do. Just, like, like run to either side of him each time you tech him. Yeah. And when he does a random flip. That, yeah, but just run. Can, uh, like, he, yeah, he should be good. Hi. We're almost there, folks. We're, I think he's calling you out. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Hey, stop grinding off me. Oh, yeah, we can, uh, there's one more fight. We, besides the three-on-one, there's another fight we can do after this. Yeah, and, um. I saw him. He, he's probably the hardest on his, I mean, he's the hardest by himself. I think I had more trouble with doing his fight than doing the three on one. Really? Uh, I, I, it might be different now because of experience, but yeah, back then I Riku destroyed me. Yeah, well, R R Riku oh, also has go. a retaliate. Oh, okay, maybe it's one more level up, but we can get that a little later. Because um, I think at level five, because I know we're at, we're at level four now. Once you hit level five, you get um slap shot, which is one of my favorite abilities in Kingdom Hearts One Final Mix. What does that do again? Um, during Sora's combo, he'll swing his Keyblade up low. So, and, and, and say from, from below, up really quickly. That has a high critical hit rate, and, and, and it's really good for getting the combos fast. Oh, nice. Alright, so... Let's get... more, yeah, focus on Wonka. And That's get... A, yeah, because it, it's really... Yeah, try not to get caught in between all of them. Hmm. Although that's gonna be kind of hard with Selfie constantly dashing at you. Yeah. T this is a bit more understandable. Oh yeah, that just that just happens. You can't. I, I think you can counter when she does that twirl attack. There we go. But I don't. But, but I think you can counter when she does that bad attack. Mm. But the timing. I, I always have a hard time with the timing. Oh man. Well, T well, well, this wasn't even doing anything. <laughs> Good for me. The walk is out. Now, now focus on Selkie. Yeah, because uh, Tidus is not going to be that much of an issue. T yeah, because Tidus is the easiest to counter. Yeah. So, so and yeah, see there, there we go. Just, no, just no, no, just, no, just, no, just, no. Just try, just try not to get caught in between them. Yeah. There we go. There we go, and now we should be good. Oh, I don't want to chance that. You're just gonna wait for him. You're just gonna. Yeah, I didn't yeah, want to chance I, it. You're gonna. Yeah, beat him up when he ta after a tech. Yeah. No, I messed up. Too early. You got to make sure you're right on him. All right. But... There we go. Oh, yeah. I don't know why they. Ain't... There you go. Woo! Like they de-aged everybody here for this. <laughs> Like, Tidus, Waka, and Selkie are a lot older in their home games. Mm. But you got a potion. And like I said, you can keep fighting them if you want for more potions. Oh, I should probably look at this stuff. Yeah. We need, uh, it was two log. it was two, the arrow logs by Riku, so we're, we're good there. You just put those stuff on. Mm. Uh, go to your, uh, yeah, equipment. All we have is the wooden sword. Yep. 
abilities, mm -hmm. experience zero. Oh yeah, because we're on prime mode, we have experience zero. Yeah, that's basically uh, for ex like crazy people. Those, those people who like to um do a low level run. Yeah, and we can't really. Well, actually, well, we yeah, we can't do anything. That's uh only for magic in this game, I think. Don't quote me on that. I guess it's also point good point to mention that this in Kingdom Hearts One compared to the other ones, your shortcut menu only has three slots. Yeah, I don't even think I can activate the, it. Or the claws, the claws up there. Well, I, it, I think it's hold L one. Uh, okay, I guess you need it to wait for it to be pre to be mentioned. Yeah, because we can't even use it at all. Mm. Claws right there. Also, I, I really love how homey this theme feels. Mm -hmm. I love this. I, yeah, I love this place. Uh, um, it's also I also love the battle theme here. Too bad it's the only time you're gonna hear it. Yeah, like when you fight when you're fighting the characters. Yeah. Yeah, I like it as well. There's the last log, and uh, and here's the last fight we can do too. Yep. And That's the only thing Kyrie needs so. All right, let's see what happens. Every time you beat Riku, you also get a potion. Hmm. Oh, you have to be really careful with this guy. An uh, important thing to know about Riku is he has a ret he retaliates. Yeah, he does this kick thing. Well, you know, like, after you hit him a couple times, he'll fall on his feet. I think it's every fourth hit or so. And then he'll immediately kick back up. He's waiting for you to do that. Yeah, he taunts you and waits for you, and he kind of counters after a while. But, but when he does, when he's on his, gr like, when you hit him and he's on his feet, he'll re he'll get up a, a, retalia a retaliation move. Mm. He's also really agile. Yeah. One thing this is kind of makes me wish I had Ventus's uh, Ventus's um, haste with his D link because you yeah. know because like this, well, that's one of the things that makes Benita that that yeah attack. that attack kills you like that so really much. hurts too. Yeah. And it's hard to see coming if you don't know. If you, it's hard to see coming. It might be the safe route to just do one hit at a time. Mm. But the thing is, Riku, for a kid, Riku jumps pretty high. Ow. Oh, he got you. No. Uh, try it. You want to try again? I will keep doing it until I win. <laughs> this is what I did last time. And it was like 10. What was, what was the count? What was the count? Probably like 10 to 1. Uh. And well, he keeps a separate count. Well, he keeps another count later on, but that's something else. Crap! He already hit you. Oh man. I keep. Ch yeah, man. I'm looking at this and I'm just having nostalgia again. <laughs> like, I just remember my very first playthrough. Like I saw the commercial for this for Kingdom Hearts One original. Uh, like I, I was like, what am I looking at at first? Hmm. But, but that but like the Disney characters and all that it, and my family is big on with Disney it loves Disney Oh, so, same same So yeah, because that's kind of the thing like a game like this unless you're a Final Fantasy or a Disney fan You're really not gonna find an interest when you see the commercial mm. Yeah, when, when Riku also does a get up attack it, if you're doing in the end of your combo swing You're probably not you're probably gonna get hurt yeah, cause, cause also this is also when Sora feels more like a, you know, you can feel the weight of the weapon. Yeah, definitely. Like in Kingdom Hearts 2, obviously he's probably used to it by then. So, but mm. regardless, it, here it, it definitely feels like a heavy, heavy a metal. Key. Yeah, yeah, you feel feel the impacts more. Uh, kind of oh. makes some of the blows feel more uh, powerful. Oh, definitely. And you're done. Okay. Sora looks ill. 1-1 one, one isn't too bad. Well, 2-1. Oh, it is 1. Oh, I thought if I does like a ratio thing. I'm dumb. Um. Alright, then. We have all the stuff. You want to go to Kairi? Oh, we can go in here. Oh, yeah. There's a safe point in here. Um. Th you basically went... This is, this is basically so you can save later. For reason. Yep. We're not going to bother, though. Oh, so we can go to the um, little cave area as well. Well, th well, there's no reason to right now. Well, it, it, because the uh, the cutscene won't trigger until we do that mm. until later. Right. Oh yeah, another thing. Oh, but actually, um, I'll point out later, anyways. But uh, and a nice thing 
um, I like in Kingdom Hearts 1 compared to the other games is um, when you try to go into a new area, when you go into a new area, it always tells you what it is. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. It, it just question marks in the uh, other ones until you go in. And it also like shows an actual animation of Sora like opening a door and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, going into a door instead of a fade out. Yeah, and like the other games, it's just like fade, f like fade outs and stuff. Load. Yeah. It's more practical, but it's not as interesting. Yeah. Well, the animation doesn't necessarily take too long. Well, it nah. varies. Nah. I mean, the only time it really becomes a hassle is uh, Castle Oblivion. Is it not Castle Oblivion? That's the wrong game. <laughs> um, is a uh, Hollow Bastion. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you get a high potion. Woo! Yeah, we don't really. I don't really want to use potions until actual important stuff happens. Yeah. Um. Like later on may during this part, maybe. But. Mm. Well, I don't really want to use it against the Heartless, but maybe against the first proper boss. Well, you might have to. Well, it's still like Heartless. <laughs> but because you no, know, because um, spoiler alert, people, we're gonna fight Darkseid again later. Oh no, I wasn't talking about that, but yeah. <laughs> Regardless, he, there he can actually hurt you pretty badly. Because mm. he has that raining down attack. And he does it in conjunction with his other attacks. Also, is uh, Riku the same voice as the other games, or is it different? I don't know, but he, and this is definitely their first voices. Like, you can mm. just in the Sora alone compared to the later games. Yeah, and I mean, Riku just sounds so different in this, so... I don't know. It's not, it's not more like kids. Hmm. Like, here they have to be at least 14. We could have just as easily ended up somewhere else, right? I... F I think Sora and Kyrie are 15 and Riku is 16. That's what I've heard. Mm. Well, he, they look about, they, they look about like mid teens. Yeah. Like so, between 14 and 16 at least. Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, they don't really sound that way. Except for, ex it's, it, it, like, they don't sound older than 14 and then 15 though. Mm. Like Riku especially. Yeah. Like, cause well, I hear a sixteen-year-old, I think a bit. I think I hear a little deeper. Hmm. Well, it's, it's funny because in chain of memories, in context of the game, uh, Sora just randomly uh, got has his new voice. Yeah, newer, just, newer, vo newer voice performance. He just instantly went through puberty in like two seconds. Yeah, right. It can, like in the G GBA version, they uh, and they keep, he just uses grunts mm. from from came, from the first game. Yeah. It must also this thing to spawn a lot of yaoi. Yep. Oh, dude. <laughs> it yeah. doesn't. It doesn't help that um that um because of Sora's reaction to seeing Riku at the end of Kingdom Hearts Two. Oh yeah, especially like like when like when he saw like I think he saw him as Ansem still, and it was like he was crying. Yeah, I mean, someone actually brought up a good uh, point. It's like. He, for all uh, Sora knew at that point, Kairu was fine, but he had no idea what's go what was going on with Riku. Right. It's all like, um, they let him know. Yeah. Like, it, he called him Ans- he called him Flyout Ansem and all that still. Yeah. And, th and then suddenly, Riku? Donald! It's kind of interesting, like, um, with castle- with, um, this castle here, you gotta wonder, like, Cause like I think they planned this to be a, a world in the original of the game. Yeah, yeah, just, they did. Because it, it's especially prevalent on the world map. Mm. Cause yep. you see Disney Castle floating there. You can, yeah, you can mod. I've seen people mod this in the game. Mm. It will be but more prevalent in, 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 in two. Yeah, but in context of the HD remix, you can think of it. And they probably re just reuse the room. Mm. Yeah. Because this is the exact same layout in Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah. Which is a nice continuity, at least. Good old Donald. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to see more of that later on. Mm -hmm. The gummy ship. This is the only time we're going to see these guys in these outfits, too. Mm. Yeah, we saw... Well, well we, see, we see him in Recoded, but... Mm. I, I, I uh, prefer the... Outfits they use um, in one and two, like I mean, like when you actually have them in the party. 
Yeah. Also, Donald apparently is gonna forget using that thunder right away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's kind of interesting when I think about it. Like, I, I may be underthinking it, but or overthinking it. But like, the fact that they had to redo this on the ground up, how did they get all the exact same clips back for for, for you know? Mm. What happened just now? What? No, oh, I was just checking. No, I was actually recording. I was a bit scared. Oh, okay. At least it's not freezing us. Um, with um, what was it? That shouldn't happen. Yeah. What, 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 what was the what was the recording studio using before again? Amarek, I think. Yeah. Though that kept freezing on us when we were doing Birth by Sleep. Mm, yeah, even my brother said that program's kind of buggy. Mm. I, guess, and... but I guess the same time, well, I guess everything has a pro and con. Mm. And we're oh, suddenly too. back to just New Islands. <laughs> Jumping. Yeah. You can, now, you, you can refight everybody here. Yeah. Um, oh, but yeah, everybody has another line to say, too. The, the only one you can't refight is Riku. Hey. Mm. Uh, back then with their stock animations. <laughs> also, like, um, I, I remember in the SGB Kingdom Hearts Let's Play, like, that dress is way too short. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, Riku, not being able to fight Riku knows, it's basically the equivalent to, uh, someone, um, having, like, a winning streak in, a game like Smash, and then they lose once and then they just leave the room. <laughs> Oh, those, those guys. I've met a lot, well, not met, like, uh, in real we life. Know of. Yeah, I've I've seen a lot of people in Smash that have done that. I think we can gather the, the supplies for day two here. Mm. So, um, here's, the first one we can get is, um, well... <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Can you even I, break this? Um... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure right now. Oh, wait. I've been the first... You can get a mushroom right now, I know that much. Hey, hey, uh, wait, you wanna try to hit Waka with it? Uh, oh, there you go. There we go. Nothing. There's no items in it, though. Oh. Uh, the second thing we're grabbing on these days is food supplies. Yep. I don't think there's anything up there, but I think we wanna climb up where, the, where we got the cloth. Okay, let's see if we can get the fish. Which actually could be seen as a reference to Final Fantasy VI. Hmm. Because, um... You have six, right? Uh, I. You. What games did you tell me to play? It was like I don't five. Well, I mean, you, you have. Yeah, you have five. Hmm. Well, like in Final Fantasy VI, uh, you want to get that egg up there. Um, there is a a when, during the second half of the game, uh, when you, um, Celis needs to grab like these uh the, the, the fast fish specifically in order to keep Sid from dying. Hmm. Because he was ill. Right. Okay. I don't think you can get the coconuts until uh, you talk to Kyrie for some reason. Hmm. Whatever. Just you might as well get the egg though. Uh, climb the climb the fin tree. I think I just walk up to it. There you go. This is also where Kenny Hearts is probably at its most platformy. Yeah, and it's not perfect, but it it definitely has the most interaction with the worlds itself. Mm -hmm. Because also we had to. Use fire to light candles. We'll had to do a bunch of stuff in uh, one specific world Wait. that I'm not gonna spoil yet. But 